Hi everyone. Uh, today is actually 15th of July. I'm doing this recording purely because I will want to document uh, my investment journey. So I think today's main topic right, is about uh, COVID-19. Uh, I think this is in everyone's mind ever since uh, it started beginning of this year or even in back in December or November, right? So, so let me share my screen uh, regarding this topic called the path to COVID-19 vaccine. Okay. Why this is very important, right, is we want to understand, right, in today's climate, how long will it take, right, for this COVID-19, right, to be eradicated, basically uh, eliminated from our society. Okay. So there's a few thoughts that will come to play. So let me share a bit more about the journey of a vaccination. Uh, if you're looking at this uh, picture, right, you can see that there is three phases, right? The first phase is the pre-clinical -clin testing, clinical testing, and then monitoring. So what's the difference between pre and actual clinical testing? The main difference is one is tested on uh, animal models, the other one, it will be on human, uh, human being itself. So if you can see the timeline, right, uh, below for normal, right, it's about five to 10 years for pre-clinical testing. Then subsequent, each phase of a human testing will be like every three years. So you can see all in all, for a vaccination to come to play, it'll take about a total of 11 to 19 years. However, today in a SARS-CoV-2, right, which is COVID-19, right, do you see the timeline? It has shortened uh, greatly. How short it is, right? It is really, it's about uh, six to nine months simultaneously for preclinical and phase one clinical testing. Phase one clinical testing is basically, uh, they are going to look for small dosage of uh, volunteers. Uh, you can see there, not more than 40 people, uh, live individuals to take, the, to take the, the vaccine and then see what is the reaction. So every human vaccination right, uh, trial will take about three months. Why after taking, they might need to adjust the vaccination and see whether will there be any uh, side effect that is happening in the individual. So going to phase two, uh, a larger volunteer like in the hundreds. Uh, so likewise, it will take about three to uh, three months or even six months. And then the last phase before they start production, it will be about a thousand people and more, close to probably even to the 10,000 uh, people. So remember all these are uh, uh, real people, so they have, been, they have to be very cautious about it. Uh, remember the magnitude, they have, they have shortened it by 10 times, okay? It used to be about nine years, it has shortened to each phase about three months. Uh, do take note. So, so, uh, and, so why this information is very important, right? Because you can see that it is really a, a global effort around the world, uh, which I say global, I'm talking about every government, every uh, healthcare, and every individual, they are spending money in terms of getting this vaccination rolled out as soon as possible. Some information to take note. What, how many companies are there uh, on this race for vaccination. Okay, so this is an extraction that I got from CNBC. So there is about one to uh, 12 clinical human trial that is going to start. Uh, the first one uh, you can see on the far left, it has started in uh, uh, March 16, 16 March this year. So there are about child vaccine that is uh, going to into clinical trial, human trial in the next coming months until September. Obviously this data uh, will change along the way. Uh, why, why I want to show you this, right, is that uh, do notice that there is so many uh, clinical trials that is happening today. One of the main reasons is really because that there are information saying that the strain of virus that is affecting individuals today, uh, they might be mutating. Uh, however, one thing to note, the mutation is not as fast, as deadly, as quickly. So I think that is a good thing about this COVID-19. Uh, obviously, it, sh it, it 
it will spread easily. Uh, thankfully, that it doesn't mutate so quickly. Okay? So, looking at the pipeline, uh, uh, the first company, Moderna, might be able to start going into production uh, probably in the, uh, the end of December. Okay. Why this information is very important, right, is because uh, to be able to make sure that every one of us, right, it is, uh, it is able to get some protection from COVID-19, right? We want to know how many uh, me medical companies are actually going to go into production uh, very soon and what kind of level that they will be producing. Uh, at this moment, there is really no uh, visibility. Uh, what I think that will be the best guess is really use two scenarios that I'm going to share with you later, okay? So, so there's this term called herd immunity. So for, for us, right, to get uh, protected or indirect protection from this virus, right, most of the population in the world need to have this immunity, okay? And I mean, based on medical research, right, uh, we probably need about 70 to 90% of a population to achieve this thing called herd immunity. So something that is very common to us in Singapore, right, it is probably like chicken pox or around the world. Uh, a lot of people get chicken pox. It used to be very deadly. Uh, it can kill people. But because there's so many people getting uh, this chicken pox, right, uh, over time, our our DNA or even our fabric of the lifestyle that we are living today, right? We are not so afraid of uh, chicken pox. Uh, however, this COVID-19, right, will likely be in that sort of a category. We as a population, we as a country, we as a nation, we as a global market, right? Global individual, right? We might go into that stage, okay? So, so that is why I'm going to give you two scenarios at this moment. Uh, assuming as of March 2020, the world population is about 7.8 billion. Okay, So I'm going to build a two scenario uh, base, right, to really let you understand. Assuming in the nine, in the next nine months, right, vaccine will be given, uh, will be administered. Okay, so let's, let's look at it this way. Two scenarios. Uh, because we have about 7.8 billion uh, population around the world. So uh, let's assume first first case, 10 million vaccination is administered every day. It means to achieve 70% herd immunity, we need 18 months for us to be fully uh, vaccinated or immune to this COVID-19. Then if it's a population of 80%, we will need a longer period, like 22 months, uh, about 22 months. And then another scenario is about 20 million uh, uh, vaccination being administered. Uh, if it's 70% of the population, it takes about 9 months, and 80% of the population is about 11 months. It's about 10.5 months uh, here about. But why am I sharing this with you, right? Is to really let you understand on the worst case scenario, when will we as a mankind, right, uh, fully come out of COVID-19, okay? Uh, why we need to study this, right? It, it's really to understand that, hey, um, if if this COVID is going to be with us, right, how will our economy be, uh, will be reacting to it, right? We recently in Singapore, we received one of uh, the worst GDP drop in the quarter, and we are having a technical recession. Uh, and will this recession continue? Mm, we will not know. It really depends on uh, the whole situation, uh, uh, economy like Singapore opening up and uh, cross-border arrangement around the world that we are having also. So this is something that I will need you to understand. So using the worst case, right, means nine months for production to come into play and then another 21 months, right, for us to be fully vaccinated uh, based on the 10 million vaccination administration, administ administered scenario, right? In total, it will take about what? Uh, uh, 30 months, which is in total about uh, three year plus, three and a half year, uh, 30 months, sorry, two and a half year. Yeah, about two and a half years. So, so pop up about three years. Uh, however, uh, 
uh, this this is assuming that the administration of the vaccine right uh, does not have any mutation along the way secondly is that how easy is it being administered to individuals uh, if you look at chickenpox right uh, an individual to get vaccine it probably take about uh, two or three rounds of uh, injection okay so so these are the things that uh, we need to consider so it might be even longer than what i'm showing you because 10 vaccination is talking about every day there will be 10 million people around the world get jet uh, administered and then if we are talking about a uh, multiple round of vaccine uh, for a full course of vaccine to take place right then the numbers might be even double or triple the time period also so this is something that i think uh, for investors like myself i will really want to document this so to, to put it out there for everyone right it will probably take about a maximum of three to four years for us to really overcome this COVID-19. So when it comes to investment, uh, as an investor myself, these are the things that I'm looking at. So do ask me questions, then obviously do like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you really enjoy this content that I'm giving you. And turn on the notification bell to receive new uh, content. So hope to see you soon, everyone. Bye-bye.